Do you think I got octopus hands? Onde está o cartão real? Onde está o cartão real? Get it? Because Real Madrid, and where's the real card? Because this is a plus three overall upgrade. And what the hell, this is not even anywhere close to the best Marcelo card we've ever had. We had a 94 Marcelo last year. We had a 90 right mid Marcelo last year. We had two 94 vari variations of his card in FIFA 18, a 91 left back in FIFA 19, and 89. His, uh, his base World Cup game mode card was 89. Uh, in FIFA 18, and we haven't hit that yet. And then a FIFA 17 93 rated card, a 92 rated card. He had a team of the season and a team of the year that year. Uh, an 89 in FIFA 16, an 88 in... I, I said maybe that's a flashback to this one? 86, uh, I think that's it? Yeah, I think this is the flashback card right here, boys. I just found an 88 rated Marcelo from FIFA 16. Um, and I think this is probably, uh, this is probably the, uh... What do you think I got Octopus hands? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Team of the Year flashback, Marcelo, AK Marcelo Vieira da Silva, uh, and welcome to arguably one of the more controversial, uh, one of the more controversial flashback cards, one of the more controversial SBCs. The community seems to be up in arms right now, uh, given that he is nowhere near the highest rated card that we've ever seen of him, given that he's meant to be a Team of the Year flashback card. So... It's a 92 total in-game stat upgrade. Uh, the four-star weak foot, the five-star skill moves. Again, now, the fact that there's a Mendy out there, you, maybe was he given, was he not given that high of a rating, you know, to kind of pay some respect to the Mendy owners because that was a super expensive SBC. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, that Mendy might have actually been pretty decent value. I think, it, what was it, like 240, 250,000 coins. This Marcelo is uh, now, like I said, just coming in over 300,000 coins. And in today's episode, we're going to take a deep dive into the stats. We're going to get into a couple games with him we're gonna see if this 88 Marcelo might have something hidden on him the 91 dribbling looks really good I'm not gonna lie the 86 pace looks fine the the passing looks pretty decent the, uh, the physical looks pretty good we're gonna dive into the stats take a look and see maybe uh, if the value might be there but before we go any further boys per usual if you guys do enjoy the episode is drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so like I said four star weak foot five star skill moves if you're gonna have some fun with this card it's gonna come in the form of skilling and that's exactly what we're gonna try to execute in this 87 acceleration 84 sprint speed and like i said a 94 total in game stat upgrade from his base 85 rated card one of the lowest rated i believe the lowest rated marcelo card we've had uh in about 10 years time so um talking about the base obviously not this 88 uh 87 attacking positioning pretty decent makes me almost want to play him up top at winger next to maybe gareth bale and then bring that mendy on as a super sub uh finishing 76 shot power 86 long shot 73 so nothing really crazy there outside of the attacking positioning and and pretty decent shot power the passing stats, 92 crossing, 88 short passing, 79 long passing, so, and then 87 curve, so he's got, he's gonna be able to have that little dip with the pass as well, but again, it's not elite level. With a 90 rated Marcelo, I feel like that's probably over 90, short passing is probably over 90 there, attacking positioning with a 90 rated uh, Marcelo is probably over, uh, the attack positioning is probably over 90 as well, as is probably the acceleration, so I'm actually very curious why he only got plus three and not like a plus four or plus five. Uh, dribbling stats, Again, decent, but a 90 Marcelo. Like, why did we get a 91 Bernardo Silva player moments card and then arguably a player who's way more heroic, who's had much, uh, a much longer history in Ultimate Team that people have loved, uh, only gets a plus three upgrade from his 85 base. So again, I look at the dribbling stats, 94 ball control, 91 dribbling, elite level. Uh, but then we get like, you know, 86 agility. It's th They're not bad stats. So here's the thing. They're above average to very good stats, but they're not like, Prime Marcelo, if you will. That's the only way I can explain it. They're not Prime Marcelo stats. Defending, if you get the right chem style on there, obviously he turns into a really, really good defensive option. 86 interceptions, 87 slide tackle, very, very good there. Um, and then uh, the defensive awareness, 75. So again, with a 90, maybe he busts into the 80 or like high 70s. Strength, 82. Aggression goes up to 96 with the Hawkeye, was what we've affixed to him here. Um, and then just, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a good card. I, I wish maybe they would have at least just given him 80 shooting, right? Just give him at least 80, shoot, 80 shooting so we can brand him as Club 80. So what we've gone ahead and we've done is we're using a little bit more of that Bernardo Silva card. We've got that Gabriel Jesus who I'm going to spend some more time with. Match number one, Marcelo. I don't know. Show, I, I, he's going to have to show me something emotional for it to click. But match number one with Marcelo. Vamos. What do you think I got Octopus hands? This card is OP. Overpriced. Wow. Um, plus three. You've got to be kidding me. So good if you miss foot, miss Mendy for the Varan link. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. There's a there's a special Varon in, in in packs right now, right? Um
Come on, Marcelo, dude. sleeping on Kareem Benzema and they ask me why they uh, people have asked me wait why aren't you so excited about Suarez the reason I'm not super excited about Suarez I feel like Benzema is a better Suarez I know Suarez has the better stats um is he out? what do you think I got active best times Literally one counterattack. That's all we had. We had we had a few other opportunities. It looked very Man, dude. What was that? I feel like everyone had sevens across the boards. Marcelo had a 7.8. Benzema had an 8.1. Literally the only bright spot was that one goal. But yeah, 63% possession. Like what who who likes playing like that? I don't what are you doing, dude? We're gonna put an engine on Marcelo because I do want to jack off those dribbling stats. I want him to feel like a prime Marcelo with insane, insane dribbling stats. So I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna get those dribbling stats jacked off a little bit, a little bit more pace, and then also the passing. I feel like maybe this is a little bit more fitting of a card for him. I need so back here. It's the reason I'm not super excited about Suarez. I feel like Benzema is a better Suarez. Marcelo, come on, dude. He doesn't have the finishing. He doesn't have the finishing, and I feel like a 90, a 90 Marcelo might have had a chance of making that, my dudes. A 90 Marcelo might have had a chance of making that. Ah, you gotta find, hey, you wanna know what? At the very least, we get a 15,000 coin loan Marcelo, and... Bonjourno. Let's go, Juan Mata. Ah, we're getting, you know, we'll keep it classy. We'll do the backbreaker, but we'll do it. <laughs> Sem dúvida. Alisson Becker. How does a team of the year Alisson make that decision to do that? I, I don't understand. He's a team of the year card. No pen. That's not a pen. What a penalty! Dude, even Marcelo knows it, bro. Sem dúvida. Alisson Becker. If anyone's thinking about buying Team of the Year Allison, I need you to watch this video. Team of the Year Allison single-handedly cost me that game. And look, I love Liverpool, okay? I love Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool. This isn't, I don't have an agenda out for Team of the Year Allison, but he genuinely is not worth five. That is why a keeper's not worth 500k. A 6.3 performance, that's one of the worst goalkeeper performances I've ever seen.
His finishing is actually trash. That's I think that's three times in the epi where we've had a shot on target. Obviously, he's got 76 finishing. It's not it's not elite level by any means, but um, if if you get this Marcelo in a in a scoring position, it's it's tough to convert. That's probably probably the main glaring thing that I've noticed from this epi so far. Like three chances. Wow. Wow. He's the best! And then Allison then Allison saves that. Like he's like it just doesn't make sense. Timothy or Marcelo finally, literally three matches in, and we get our first goal with Marcelo. Oh, we walk in park, people! Oh my god! Come on! Baby Jesus. There we go. And just like that, within a matter of seconds, we turn we turn this thing around. Finally, you know what? Maybe I didn't put enough shot power on it. Maybe I didn't put enough shot power on it. Maybe it's the team of the year kit, to be honest with you. Ahora perfecto! Es que es increíble! And there you have it, boys. The I keep wanting to call him the team of the year. The flashback Marcelo card is just going for... He's about 300,000 coins on the penny on PlayStation and 298,000 coins on the Xbox. And part of the reason why I think um, people are a little bit disappointed is, is like we kind of knew this card was coming as well. And um, I think the fact that he just got himself an 88 rated card, it's just not next level. It's not the Marcelo card that we wanted. It's not the Marcelo card that we expected. I expected this to be like a 350, 400,000 coin SBC, but like a 90 rated card, something close to the 94, uh, the highest rated 94, 95 rated card that he ever had. Uh, and, it, and it falls short. But in terms of value, boys, I'm going to have to come in and I'm going to have to be a little bit disappointed with this card. Uh, it's gonna be a thumbs down for me. I don't think I'm gonna complete him on any account. Not gonna do it on the main. Not gonna do him on the uh, on the RTG as well. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five. Uh, I could understand the argument some people would make to do this card if you're gonna play him centrally. Again, the right chemistry style certainly makes him usable as a left back. But uh, for me, it's just a swerve. It's just it's a swerve just because he's not. It's not the Marcelo we were expecting. And maybe I'm coming at this from the mindset where I was expecting a little bit too much. The only reason I'm gonna give him a three is because he was fun skilling. Like it's just fun skill using the five-star skill moves um uh for me being someone that's an, an aspiring skill it's fun using this card but it could be a lot more fun and i think that's going to be the theme of my review it's a good card but it could have been so much better the opportunity was there to make this a really memorable marcelo card because who knows how many more years he's going to play certainly a guy that's going to qualify as an icon but uh for for for, for what we expected I think it just fell short of the hype. That is going to do it for the episode, you boys. Like I said, uh, let me know what you think about the card in the comment section below. Drop a like if this epi has helped you in some way, shape, or form come to a decision or if it's just been entertaining. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another stream tonight, uh, and we'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Until next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Adios.